point in time, and we feel very lucky that we're here in Singapore, uh, insulated somewhat well, from. Uh, well, Una, we appreciate you staying up late to speak to us. Extraordinary to hear an Irish woman saying she doesn't want to go home anytime soon, and that she thinks most of her family would like to move out and be with her. Well, let's go from Singapore to Portugal, because if you read the analysis of this crisis here in Ireland, one of the countries that could be the most exposed if it's not fixed is Portugal. Oscar's on the phone. Um, Oscar, do you feel glad that the IMF has got involved? Do you feel more secure now in Portugal uh, now that the, the loan to Ireland is very likely? Not at all. Not at all. I, I mean, I think it's just delaying the inevitable. I mean, it, it, it just strikes me bizarre that they're actually still using the same thinking to solve this problem that has caused the problem in the first place. You know, to keep borrowing yourself out of a situation is, is just crazy. I mean, I think, personally, the party's over. And I think, living in Portugal, I'm quite aware that the culture of Portugal, you know, I think that they're still well-equipped to survive on a more independent level. I mean, and they're not, that the Portuguese country is not so involved in the capitalist system as maybe the Northern European countries are. Of course, they are to a degree, but in terms of the people on the street, I really do feel that there is a strong family connection still here. And that dependence on the state is less here probably than in, in Ireland or any other Northern European country. So the, the whole idea of borrowing, borrowing uh, out of the situation is just crazy. As far as I'm Oscar, thank you very much indeed. Sarah can't hear you, but Sarah, Oscar's saying from Portugal, the party is over. The soon everyone understands that, stops borrowing, stops spending, and just understands this kind of money doesn't exist, the better. Yes, and I think that's what a lot of Irish people have realised, that what we had up till 2003 was sustainable. After that, it became unsustainable. So you won't find anyone here that will say that they want to go back to two years ago. We don't want to go back to that. We know it doesn't work. We want to rebuild a more sustainable economy built on something that's not just a bubble-like property. Sarah, Regina, thank you very much indeed for your company and to everyone else who's taken part in the programme. Thanks to you as well. Well, that's it here on BBC World News. But, of course, there's plenty to talk about, which is why I'm about to jump in a cab, head to the Goblet Pub in North uh, Dublin to carry on the conversation on World Have Your Say on the radio. You can listen at bbcworldservice.com. Thanks very much for your company. I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.